Cocoa Puffs. Okay. Cocoa Puffs and Cheerio. You know what? Dinda Houston. No, this is Cocoa No, Dinda Houston. No. Dinda Houston. No, seriously. Get him. Give me the white ball. No. Yes. Yesterday, I gave you the pink ball. I don't like pink. Then why are you wearing pink? I don't know. You're wearing pink everywhere. You're picking up SpongeBob. No, I don't. You don't even wash your hands after you use the restroom. There's no more soap. Okay, this is Gigi. By the way, and this is, this is mine. The hey, stop trying to go fast. I'm going to sit at the big table. No, you're not. Okay. Um, what do we do here? This is called eating. This goes to Houston. I don't know if you. Look at his face. <laughs> Houston, say hi to the camera. Mm -hmm. He has all of them snacks to eat. You hear mom? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Mm. <laughs> what is he doing to his hand? I know. That was some good cereal, man. Leah, Leah? Yes. Don't be getting me in my drawers. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> we back. What's up, Houston? Houston getting big, man. Quit crying, boy. Quit crying. <laughs> Welcome back to the realest YouTube channel on the planet. You're watching Luciano TV. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the like button. Because when you do that, YouTube tends to promote the video. So go ahead and hit the like button. And if you got a Facebook, share it on your Facebook page. Send it to your mama, send it to your daddy, send it to your grandma. We got a family channel going on right here. It's suitable for everybody. All ages are welcome. Come one, come all. Hear ye, hear ye, come one, come all. You know, I used to watch MTV and I used to be like, man, I wonder why MTV don't play music videos no more. They only play TV shows. But now on my channel, I used to put number music videos. And now I put vlogs because I realized there's more money in the TV show than in just playing music videos. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel you MTV, you know what I'm saying? Welcome back to Luciano TV, the family oriented vlog channel. The daily vlog, get your daily dose of entertainment, man. Your daily dose of love, peace, and motivation. We spreading positivity throughout the universe around here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, really I'm just sitting here waiting for Kelly to finish getting ready so we can go have breakfast. What's up, Gigi? How you enjoying your summer? Great, actually. Great? Mm -hmm. What you been doing? Shopping. Joy. I've been going to a lot of hotels. You ready to go to another one? Yeah. You ready to go to on your summer vacay? Yeah. Where would you like to go for your summer vacay? Hollywood. Let's go wake up Kingston. Let's go pour a bucket of water on his head. Yeah. I've done it. I poured water on him once. I don't know if y'all remember that. You them white legs. <laughs> he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kingston? Well, you know what we're finna do? We're finna put water and flour on you. I don't want to make a mess in your room. I'm so glad y'all woke me up. You're so glad we woke you up? Why? I know. You're having a. Well, tell us about your dream. What were you dreaming? It's like the end of the world. No, it made you turn into your soul. Like you were just your soul, you weren't the body anymore. You're dead then. But I was, I was still in the world, and you could still reign around with the people. Well, did you know you never really die? Your soul lives on forever. You are an eternal being having a human experience. Did you not know? So enjoy this human experience, because it's just an experience. And then I had to kill somebody. Right now, me and Leah Leah are on our way to go mail this merch. And then get donuts. And then get donuts. What kind of donuts do you want? I like donuts with sprinkle nuts. 
Donuts with sprinkles, huh? All right, I got you. You got your donuts? Mm -hmm. Oh, and you got a big bubble gum, huh? All ready, you ready? You ready to go home? Yeah. All right, let's go. Where are we about to go, Dad? We're gonna eat some Cuban food. I'm about to eat some Cuban food. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any socks, though, guys. Put it on my socks. Put it on my socks. About to go eat some Cuban food, even though we just had donuts and eggs. Or no, I didn't have eggs, but like, I think they just need some eggs. Just put on some slides. Why not? <laughs> All right, let's go. You gonna stay here by yourself, and the boogeyman gonna get you. <laughs> Slender man gonna get you. Dad. Guys, I tried. I thought these were the good lollipops. These ones right you there. Are. These are not the good lollipops. And we're about to go to Cuban food. Oh, wait, what's the name of the store? I mean the Monito. restaurant. Monito. Monito. We'll back with y'all when we get there. What you eating there, baby? So, baby got a Cuban sandwich. Lucky put me onto these Cuban sandwiches and they are bomb.com. I actually got me a Roba Vieja sandwich though. I've never tried it in sandwich, but I've tried the actual plate, the entree, the plate, and it is delicious. So I'm looking forward to my food, but I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm still waiting on my food. These lashes though. I've just got my food and it was so worth the wait. <laughs> And I got my french fries. Oh. King dance salsa. It's so hard to enjoy a meal when you go out to eat with all these kids. And if y'all are parents of, of more than two or three kids, y'all know mm. it's hard to go out to eat when you got a bunch of kids. What's up, Luciano TV? We're back, and I am currently trying to get myself going on wrapping merch, you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you go cop your merch, luchannelTV.com. We have a Don't Be a Hater All Your Life in this neon orange. We also have it in neon green, um, just like this, this neon green. We have the Playmade shirts, red and blue. We have the Blue Channel TV in black and also in white. And we also have carry our Blue Channel TV shirts in youth sizes in the white shirt. So go check that out. Make sure that you support the cause and hit the like button, man. Give us a thumbs up because even though y'all see all the like fun and everything that we enjoy, like going out to eat, going to hotels, we actually put in work like it might just look like it's being handed to us but it's really not we're actually working i got my hands full well we have our hands full and um sometimes it can get very stressful trying to manage working and taking care of the fam at the same time so um give us props for that because you know not just anybody can do that we're not regular guess what happened man yesterday i went for the first time and got a manicure <laughs> he's like so proud of it look at how shiny they are later on whenever we were done doing errands running our errands he was like all right i'll be back and i'm like where are you going he's like i'm going to the nail shop nah i want i went to go get me a pedicure because i needed to sit in that massage chair and and get my feet rubbed and get you know i, I got the my feet be itching man at night so i had to go sit on, I, I went and sat in the massage chair getting my feet massaged when I was sitting there, the, la the other lady came and was like, you want manicure? So I was like, I bet. So man, if I bullshit you not, I was feeling like a king, sitting there with one old Chinese lady rubbing my feet. I got the massage chair in the back of me rubbing my back and both of my hands over here getting rubbed with hot rock and getting my hands rubbed. I was like, oh my goodness, I wish I had my camera on me right now. <laughs> feeling like a king around this motherfucker, man. We did have a conversation and we decided that we were going to vlog every single day. And I encourage anybody who's interested in blogging or starting their own YouTube channel. If you're going to do it, do it consistently. And don't do it thinking that you just finna 
off the muscle get paid. Even if it's just like any business, um, not just YouTubing, we're yeah, not just Yeah, any talking. business. Yeah, you're not finna just, if most businesses, they lose the first year, second year, they might break even, then the third, fourth year when they start seeing profit. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with having a YouTube channel or, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you gotta put in the work first, you gotta grind first, and then you'll start seeing the benefits and the money coming in afterwards, because... Yeah, man, it's you, you're not finna just quit your day job and become a YouTuber or even a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You gotta you gotta have more than one hustle, like I done told y'all. I will say though, if you're not happy with what you're doing right now with your life right now, go and try and find something that makes you happy. Like even if you have to keep that job or whatever, keep doing what you're doing right now, um, for a longer period of time. But as long as you're just finding new ways to be happy and entertain yourself, you never know what blessing can come from it. So Yeah, um, even if you got a regular nine to five and you sitting in a cubicle all day, when you come home from work instead of just watching T V and going to sleep and waking up and doing it the next day. Do something on it when you come home from work. Work on your own project, some little business of your own where you can do something that you like doing instead of working for the rest of your life for somebody else and not really enjoying your life. Also, like us, we don't only YouTube. You know, y'all know Lucky is a rapper or whatnot. But this merch, like, you know, even something as easy as making merch, you guys, like, this is so easy. You just have to have, like, just a little tint of creativity and really want to put you know effort into vision visioning what? like the people that like the people that be sending us stuff like making them they make shirts too and i'm sure that's not their only job that's just a little side hustle they do like the dude who made up the coffee cup that said luciano yeah. tv you know what i'm saying there's there's just a lot of little side hustles that you could do especially with the internet nowadays it's easy to run a business straight from your iphone and even if you're youtubing and you're not getting a whole lot of views it don't matter if you're just getting a bunch of views it just matters who it's not all the time about how many views it's who's watching and who's listening you know what i'm saying because you might could only have a hundred views but if it could be that one person watching that could change your life you know what I'm yeah saying? like but that. it ain't nothing gonna happen if you ain't taking it some kind of action and making the content and putting it out there you know what I'm saying? You just not guaranteed you're going to win or make a home run. But if you don't get up there and bat, you definitely ain't going to win. If you trying to make videos or make content, don't pay attention so much of when the people are praising you and saying how good you are. Because if you let that control how you feel about yourself, then when they start saying negative things about you and how bad you are, it's really going to bring your self-esteem down. So don't let the comments dictate how you feel about yourself stay true to yourself yeah, you gotta, know yourself you understand know yourself, yourself consistency is key you guys sometimes we wouldn't have content to create and i'm like babe let's just sit down and record and talk to them you know sometimes that's that's all they want to see is just advice or just our thoughts so oh yeah saturday i'm going to talk to the little juvenile kids uh at the uh probation place of chimney rock in southwest houston give them some encouragement about how to get started in the music business or just in business in general how to get started in business and how to make money independently and legitimately without ending up in prison or in jail i'm so proud of you babe so i'm doing that this saturday i wish i could bring my camera but they said no cameras are allowed because they are minors that i'm going to go speak to i ain't never think i'd be doing that lucky luciano the motivational speaker the mentor yeah that man. just so, sounds hey, man, don't, so don't, professional don't let, so like i said don't let the uh haters get you down and don't let the the Phrases, you know what I'm saying? Blow your head up either. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these comments and, and people dictate how you feel about yourself. Because we get people hating on us too. I mean, All the time. And they say like some out of line, unnecessary stuff. Like People really don't hate on me. They just be like, they'll say like you suck or you old. or But to me, that really don't bother me because it's not like getting old isn't like a bad thing. Like someone the other day, someone put you old with a laughing emoji. Like, nigga, oh, my bad I didn't die at an early age. Or my bad I didn't end up in prison sitting in a cell growing old by myself. You know what I'm saying? My bad I made it and survived the streets, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So respect, put some respect on these gray hairs, man. But that also falls as another example that, um, you know, 
we had no idea that a probation officer was watching us you know what i'm saying and then yeah. here came her believe in us like she believed in you yeah, and she, she knew me. that you know we were trying to reach people that we are like basically we have knowledge you know or like at least lucky does you know in the music business and she saw somebody that you know people well the juveniles could look up to and potentially come out of what he came out of so shout out to her for you know reaching out but that's just another example of how you just never know who's watching and what opportunity they could have for you so just always make sure to just keep going don't ever give up and, and follow it your and heart it ain't gonna be easy if winning was easy everybody would be winning yeah but hey man being broke ain't easy either so i'd rather win so all it takes is a little bit of action kids Yep. Put some paint where it ain't. And don't be a hater all your life. Subscribe right now. You watch Luciano TV. Ah.